Walter and welcome to my Flagstaff home. You may remember that last month I posted a video about my sad little flower garden and um, it was titled Garden Help. You might want to take a look at that video before you watch this one because this is an update video. So if you remember from the previous video, I've had this garden in the corner of my yard. It's a flower garden and it's in an area that gets blasted by sun every day. And even though Flagstaff is high up in the mountains and it is a lot cooler and we get snow in the winter, um, we also have some pretty intense sunlight. So I have been struggling for the past six years to get a decent flower garden growing in in that corner of my yard and so I've tried all kinds of different things that you probably have seen in that video if you watched it. So what I'm doing today is just giving you an update. I've had some improvements in my garden. There are definitely some things that look better. It's not looking as beautiful as I want it to be but I'm, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that by the end of the summer, or hopefully really by the middle of the summer, that I'll have a really pretty garden out there. So let's go outside and have a look. Well, last month I showed you my sad little flower garden and while it's not big, thick, and lush, it actually has has um, improved quite a bit. So I wanted to show you that. If you take a look, I still have those metal flower stakes in the garden to give it some interest, but my um, catnip plant in the back, which was really teeny this time last month, has grown quite a bit and is actually flowering. I don't know if you can see that there. So that is a big deal. And then um, I've got a couple other flowering plants here. And um, there's my bee balm and my rose bush. Usually it's a little miniature rose bush. It usually grows a little bit bigger than this by now, but it is filling in and getting nice and leafy. So my daylilies are starting to uh, get, uh, are starting to grow. The, the, it actually looks way better than it has in the past. So I was asking people for help. Ooh, it looks like we've got another daylily there that's gonna flower here pretty soon. So, I was actually asking for help in my last video and I haven't done anything different. I mean, I had done some soil amending at the beginning of the, well, in the springtime. And I have done that in the past couple of years too. But then what I did differently this year is instead of watering with a sprinkler, I decided to water by hand so that each plant could get concentrated attention and I think that's really been helping. We're on water restriction year-round here in Flagstaff so we're limited to the days and the hours during which we can water so I just made sure that rather than just putting a sprinkler out and having the water fly everywhere that I made sure that each plant got its um, own little bit of water so that seems to be making a difference right now. And since we, since our growing season, our official growing season only began last week, it um, doesn't, well, it seems like we'll have quite a bit of time for the garden to grow. So, so hopefully we'll see a difference by next month. I don't know. So anyway, once again, if you have suggestions for what I can do, remember I'm at high altitude in Flagstaff. We're at 7,000 feet. This morning when I got up, it was 48 degrees out and we're at, at June, um, June 22nd right now. And so it, it's, we have our growing season ends the middle of September. So we've got a really short time to get growing, but if you have any suggestions for gardening it in cool weather and helping my flower garden, that would be really wonderful. So anyway, I'll show you in July what the garden looks like and um, yeah, so hopefully we'll see some progress. Well, that's my flower garden right now, and it is the middle, or actually toward the end of June right now. So I'll give you an update in July so you can see what it looks like at that point, and um, hopefully it will be looking really beautiful by then. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.